Because all of the dress wearing classes were full on. I'm Melton, son of a carpenter, my dad a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers. Mom Marianne, I'm the son of a carpenter, I get to make variables, and this is my laminator. And I'm doing my Tommy parable and my sugar chick today as a laminate. I've got about uh, 15, 18, I think, if to be precise. Done. Already, so I'm going to uh, try and get things done. Oh, just send you through again. Yeah, get them right when they come out, otherwise, so uh, I guess that'll do. Tommy is the no arm Chinese fella. How do you get to be missing both arms? By being blindly obedient. Being a good brown noser. It's what the streets, the unseen business love. They love folks who are just blindly obedient. His boss who told him to stick his right arm into a wood chip. And Tommy's always been very obedient. You know, wood chippers trim up the limbs on the street. You cut them off of the power lines and you feed them into the wood chip. Anyway, Tommy's always been blindly obedient. So he fed that right arm into the wood chipper. The left arm saw what was going on and was, of course, surprised. They'd always had this agreement, a written agreement, of course, uh, arms can't speak, don't be stupid. A written agreement, right, he wrote it up himself before he got shipped up. They tote stuff for Tommy, they haul stuff, they zip up, they button up, they do the nasty work, they um, zip up, oh, uh, zip up, I already got that. They uh, wipe butts in the bathroom, they pick noses. And before Tommy lost both his arms, he was a professional nose picker. Now he just has to rely upon the kindness of strangers to pick his nose. I bet you can uh, guess that uh, strangers are not always kind. So, um... Uh, Let me start uh, my stuff and show you as much as I can. Remember to check and post in 524-229-4140. Make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines. I've been asking for Flight 93 checks of America's Lifelines for over nine years. Have yet to get one. That's a lot of men's censorship conducted without fear of being covered by the Evening News. We the people must be the Evening News. How do you do that? Whoever's in the room there with you. You make a video of whatever you get when you don't get me. 424-229-4140. Make the video, post the video. Turn around let them make a video of yours. You're making a video of crime. You got the timestamp on your phone. You got the number dialed. And yeah, I got my call log videos of this phone's call logs on youtube.com slash DNFD series. Also, where you can find these Tommy parables. I'll check it out. You're going to get something boring when you try to call me? A phone ringing, an error message, a busy signal? Get to leave a message, I don't get it. And once again, you don't show up on my call log. I call records. Whatever boring thing you get when you don't get me, it's not going to be boring. You need to fire and place paramedics. So you make a video of it. We the people must be the reporters. And not only will it not be boring if you need to fire and place paramedics, it's also money out of your pocket every day. Next time you call up countless other customers and get that boring thing, that phone ringing, that error message, that busy signal. That's your case livelihood to someone else with a bigger name. Oh, Gates, perhaps, uh, Microsoft in the uh, computer industry, or Walmart, or Spectrum.
they can reach you by phone or can reach uh, customers by phone well you can make that video post that video whatever you get when you don't get me Melton Stone Cold Melton is my nickname John Melton Bury is my full name and son of a Carpenter Murray is my parentage now let me get started with um, my parable here <coughs> this particular a Tommy parable I want to change them out twice for each sugar check I do. Remember, uh, you can reach my stuff on the internet, download, pass along copies, daffodilia.blogspot.com, vote-truth.blogspot.com. You can also, you can find my uh, 19,000 and growing. The end of the month, it'll be even bigger. Four by six prints, that's what these things are. You print them out just like you print out your family's photo. There's 19,000 there. You're gonna find something you like. And it makes for good, uh, Tabletop art. You know, you dance, you know, saying something different. Well, you can put it in a frame if you want. I laminate it's nice and rigid and can uh, you might want to put some weights on it if you, if you do that because it's, yeah. The wind can pick it up. Oh, a few pennies. Some loose chains. Tape it to the back. Now back to Tommy. As this parable starts, Yogi, a yoga instructor, is addressing her class. And uh, she says, I am surprised to see a male in our class today. And she walks back to him and she says, I... I'm curious, why are you interested in learning yoga? You still there? Ah, good. Uh, the small print's kind of hard to read. Uh, you can actually read the glass drive labels. But yeah, the camera, if the light's not direct sunlight, you can have difficulty. Tommy, he walks over to her and he whispers in her ear why he wants to take yoga. And uh, she says, my, I think that's the, that's the first time I've heard that reason. And she goes up and she teaches the class and it goes well. And then as he's leaving, he runs into Leah. She's coming in for the next class. Yes, Tommy got a promotion for sticking his arm in the wood chipper. And uh, Leah is one of the many customers, uh, many customers, many, um, the many employees now management material and he is bossing her around. But this is her day off and obviously Tommy's not working as well. He uh, runs into her. And tries to hide his face, but he, you know, he can't put his hand up. But she notices him there, and the next day, she's at work before Tommy, and she tells the whole, all of his employees about that. And, uh, So when Tommy gets to work, up on his door, his own personal office door, there is a little cartoon sketch drawing that has Tommy in a dress and uh, doing yoga and it says, uh, why is Tommy taking yoga lessons? And it says, because of the dress wearing glasses were full up. And he's a little angry, but uh, you know, he gets them to bring in his cola with the straw, of course. Put it on his desk, he turns on the three stooges and uh, he slams that door, he kicks off that loafer. 
Yeah, he doesn't. He can't tie the shoelaces. Kicks off that loafer and uh, yeah, why he wanted. He had. Uh, He had asked Rhea to pick his nose for him. You know, the kindness that stranger he has to rely upon. And Rhea's his girlfriend, so she has to to pick his nose at an inopportune time before they went to do the nasty in the dark. Oh, make love with the lights on, guys. And usually it's uh, Rhea who's in the mood, but. Uh, that night it was Tommy and picking Tommy's nose before that. Uh, it kind of got him out, out of the, her out of the mood. So he missed out. So he, he, uh, he went to an ear, nose, and throat guy who can, you know, him or the nurse picks the, the nose. And he was writing it up to uh, business expense and sending Wu the bill for the doc and the nose picking visit. But Wu, uh, he said, well, how is this a business expense? And he said, do, we, do you want me walking around with boogers all over my face? Because I can't, you know, wipe them away, blow my nose. And Wu got the, uh, the, the expense report, went to Ming, his superior, for the ear, nose, and throat nose picker. And... Uh, he explained it to Ming, and Ming explained it to him, and Wu explained it to Tommy that, yeah, you uh, just get one of those doctor's masks that put around your mouth and your nose, and who cares what you look like underneath. So Tommy had to come up with a different approach, and he, yeah, he was a professional nose picker before he... He chipped up Righty and Lefty wisely jumped off because the agreement had been broken. Let me get one more going and I'll do my sugar check real quick. But yeah, he kicks off the loafers, reaches up with his toes, locks that door. And uh, yeah, he's got that little bit extra, a little bit of extra limberness and he uses those toes. The big one might be a little too big, but you know, he's more flexible. He can use the pinky toe if he needs to. And it works all well and good until he has that nightmare. Where Yogi, the yoga instructor, is teaching him how to do the yoga, and he's in a pretzel kind of basketball kind of pretzel thing and she walks over and picks him up takes him outside and yes there's a wood chipper there it's a nightmare for tommy yes tosses him into the wood chipper so he loses interest in yoga at least for now so i can come up with something funny for him to do in the next yoga, yogi, I've got a nice memory device, yogi the yoga instructor. So until Tommy, I can't do that. Gets another episode, he's kind of not doing that. Let me get this in. What did I, I did? I think I did both of those. Trying to remember which one I did because I did one and it didn't take. So I had to do the other. I don't want to jack myself in the same place. They heal up a lot better than I did back when. I, yeah, I lost 80 pounds in one month on the way to uh, the Good Samaritan here in LA hospital. And uh, yeah, they. they Jabbed me there and at the convalescent uh, for a little while at the convalescent hospital from hell. And uh, yeah, it, it, they heal up a lot better now. More quickly. But still, I don't want to jab myself in the same place. 248. Remember, that's your. Um, 
that is your my glucometer is your phone nine years of asking for a flight 93 check and not getting one of them that's a lot of man censorship conducted without fear of being covered by the evening news we the people must be the evening news doesn't matter what you think about my Tommy Parables or any of my Yipsama rumor about Hussein being <coughs> Osama's son. I'll put them side by side, guys. Two photos and uh, don't be a hater. I know what you're thinking. Don't be a hater and uh, yeah, that's why you grew up in Africa. The first the formative years to be closer to his dad. During those formative years. Make that video. We don't go by that. We don't go by funny rumors. We don't go by the uh, fact that Obama grew up in Africa to be president of America. We go by you not reach me during those eight years with a flight 93 check of your lifeline of America's lifeline. So soldiers, all soldiers, you protect America. Make that video. Whatever you get when you don't get made. See that that phone you make the video of? That's the military base's phone, or the uh, police station's phone, or the uh, fire station's phone, church's phone if you're a priest, your cell phone if you're a yoga instructor, or you might have a landline there. Huh? See that phone you're making a video of as every child in America's lifeline to the firemen, police, paramedics, and make a video of being hijacked. 424-229-4140. You certify your mail to me, 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, Apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. No certified mail, U.S. Post Office, no regular mail. No uh, FedEx, no UPS, about any of uh, the Epsoma rumors, the Tommy Parables, nothing. Make a video of the mail before you send it. It takes just five minutes. We've all got cameras on our phones. Make that video. Post that video. Yeah, this is these are my, my this is my phone making these Tommy parables. Make that video. Whatever you get when you don't get me. And you can print out those big fives. Oh, I see one over there. You can print out those big fives, telling everyone about their. Gates livelihood and hijack lifeline or how to check your lifeline. Oh, one more. <clears throat> you find somebody who doesn't know about their Gates livelihood? Their hijack lifeline? You try to call me in front of them. 424-229-4140. <clears throat> and uh You try to call them, and you, know, you call to, try to call me in front of them. You hand them a big five. Oh, they also come four to a four by six print and two to a four by six print. I think those are the more popular. You hand them one of those fives. You tell it on the five tells them where they can download and print out, like to print out their family's photos. Same with, with this. It's including those nineteen thousand photos you can download. Break out the ones you like and find yourself some tabletop art. Prop one of those fives up on your desk at work or uh, wherever, your car, your house. And when somebody asks you, tell them, this is your gate side good. You're going to get something boring. It's not going to be boring. When you need the fireman, police, paramedics. And it's going to be as newsworthy. So make that video. Of whatever you get when you don't get John Milton Brady at 424-229-4140. Be the reporter. Call me up in front of reporters, network news anchors, local news anchors, any and all in the public eye. All senators, all mayors, all governors. Ask them, what do you know about this? When else will my phone not be allowed to work? Who knows why? Because you're a real Christian and they just place someone named Hussein in the highest office in the world right if we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Husseins. I think that's also something that we go by. Because they had a whole lot of folks to choose from that weren't in such bad taste. But uh, 
Make that video. Whatever you get when you don't get me. Tell everyone you know. Check and post in five. Make that video. Whatever you get when you don't get me. All soldiers, you protect America. I got your military mottos here. You protect America, that's part of it. Got the uh, all police, all firemen, all priests. Check and post in five. Make that video, post that video. Come see me in person. Have wit, will travel. Show me the perfect place to build Jesus' immaculate house here on earth. I call it the great wall of evil that uh, has just me and all of my imagery. You see that? It, it also conducts phone censorship for many other reasons. But uh, I call it the great wall of evil. I say tear it down. Tear down the great wall of evil. When you see someone other than me, my changing eyes, and these uh, 19,000 plus 4x6 photos, and there's an example of one with a frame around it, has to have that frame to be printed. You can cut the frame off if you don't like it, you don't want it. When you see someone other than me, my changing eyes there, we started to build. Jesus has a micro house here on earth. Oh, cities, communities, really, not just those places you, you go to on a Saturday or Sunday or another day of the week. But the best mankind have to, has to offer in those homes. And yeah, come see me to tell me what that place needs to inspire the future and the present, the greatness with. And yes, it's a state of mind as well. Any good priest or nun will tell you that Jesus' house is built on truth. There's some nice clouds out there. Jesus' house is built on truth. Put that first brick of truth in Jesus' immaculate house by making a video of your child's lifeline, your family's lifeline, your lifeline. Not working when you try to call me. 424-229-4140, make the video post video. YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, Instagram, and a hundred more. Come see me, it's up to 22 minutes. Oh, if you see an armless uh, Chinese fella begging you to pick his nose for him, don't do it, he's taking yoga now. He knows how to pick now. Come see me, have wit, we'll travel. Show me that perfect place to build. And, uh, yeah, come see me in person and tell me what you think of my imagery. Remember to download. Takes up two DVDs right now. It's growing. Hand them out. Have it on your uh, laptop. You find somebody who can't reach those sites to download. Download for them. Put it on those DVDs. Hand them out. Have a big stack at your next party. They can pick up the DVDs and check them out later. You know, you're busy at the party. And print out what they like. Oh, this is a poster made up of 4x6 prints. You can find the imagery here or there and uh, form your own poster, girls. You want know, to do some shirtless, handsome, bald guy photos. And yes, I am an aspiring supermodel. If you know anyone who's hiring.